it's time to show you guys where we are. Let's go on a little adventure. one very important thing we must do before we go and that is duct tape the GoPro to the handlebars of the bike because that is what professionals do. shock absorber job of the GoPro duct tape to the handlebars. I think it is going to be absolutely amazing. That is the Hero 8 GoPro and it has that built-in stabilization which I think given the uh, the current state should work perfectly on the handlebars. So this will be a good test for it actually. And shout out to Bruce Tessier uh, for sending the GoPro to Nelly which she won in a contest which I now get to use. So thank you mate. That is awesome and uh, yeah really really good stuff. So Let's uh, hit the road. I want to show you guys a little bit of the surrounding area where we are because it is stunning. We've got some great light right now. So hopefully we'll get that golden hour and uh, some nice photos. Let's go. We haven't even gotten near close to where I wanna go yet. And there's a super moon like just on the horizon. So I'm going to try and switch to the 7200 just to show you this because I know that in like four or five minutes, it'll be a bit higher and uh, less as intense. So let's see if we can get the 7200 on, on the USR on the crop 4K, which has turned out to be really useful. When I first got it, I hated it, but uh, because I've been using the USR so much, I must admit that it's pretty useful for stuff like this. So here comes our first shot of the day of this super moon. Okay, I've got to act quickly. I've made it to uh, first composition that I scouted earlier today. And I've been sort of exploring this area for the last while. Just like going on my daily exercise, either running or cycling like I am now. I've even been rollerblading with Nelly sometimes, which is hilarious, reminds me of being a kid. And uh, we're in this beautiful rural area of North Germany. And it's just absolutely stunning. I think if any of you guys grew up on a farm or uh, you know, out in a non-urban environment, unlike me, you probably feel right at home here. But this is all relatively new for me. You know, even as a traveler, I get I'm lucky to see a lot of amazing landscapes. But this kind of rural farmland environment, I don't get to experience very often. So I'm definitely happy to be here and be able to try and catch last minute photographs just like this.
but I'm going handheld on the GoPro to show you what I'm looking at because uh, unfortunately, of course, I don't have a lot of time. So uh, I'm only really gonna get a couple of compositions in. We got that first one back there when we first arrived and then this beautiful composition that I'm looking at here. And I really like how the, uh, the sort of grooves in the foreground of this farmer's field that has been recently plowed leads into these trees and it's a little bit wide for me so what i'm doing is uh cropping to a four by three i learned that from adam gibbs actually he does a lot of his images in four by three i can hear a train going by which is going to be perfect for the drone so stay with us i'm hoping to get the drone up so i can show you a really good aerial uh, idea where we are and catch the last of that dying light so stay with us if you're still here but i think i got a shot and look at that the light's gone i'm just faffing away and the light is gone so i think i got the image and it looks like this battery's almost dead too so i think that uh that this is working out but yeah funny enough i've been editing so much of the f4 road trip that i've uh, i'm actually learning how to vlog better and tell uh, more information about uh, the photography that i do it'd be nice if we were on assignment and actually in the field on uh, one of the workshops or an adventure photography tour but uh this is what we've got you know this is where we are and the point of making this video is to show you so you have an idea of uh of this landscape and this self-quarantine self-isolation mind you in places like this this beautiful nature it really doesn't feel that bad it's just not being able to travel and not knowing what the future holds that's the uh that's the hardest part but it's nice that i can make these videos and have this community here with you um and that's important so i hope you're enjoying this video so far but now let's get the drone up in the air Nice, that super moon is back. You can just see it in this footage, like through these pinkish clouds. Really like beautiful, beautiful scene. goodness that is insane absolutely incredible i was not expecting that when i came out here this evening bit of a rush shoot filming on the gopro because the panasonic gh5 is getting serviced if you can believe it two years later i'm finally getting the gh5 service and it needs it because i have worked that sensor real hard and i uh i don't know how well it's working i might have to replace it so if you've got an idea for my next video camera let me know what it should be if it's going to be the r5 or the xt4 i don't know did you see the ice train i think some of you who have traveled europe you'll probably recognize that it's a german classic really great to get that with the drone that was an awesome shot and it shows that things are starting to move again in north germany people are definitely sort of waking up out of their self-isolation hibernation uh, there's way more cars on the streets in the last few days and the weather's been absolutely beautiful it's spring here and uh, people want to get moving again you can tell there's like this feeling in the air i don't know what it's like where you are but that's definitely the case here so i thought it was due time to show you a little bit of where we are here in rural north germany uh it's really nice especially right now so uh let me know where you are and uh and what you think of this landscape and uh 
Is that it? Is that the end? No, all right. I wanted to talk about uh, memberships. So memberships have been unlocked on my channel. No idea why YouTube did that. But if you would like to join the community here and be a part of our memberships, that would be awesome. The first day that I announced memberships, we got 22 people signed up. So if you're one of those people, fucking A, you're awesome. If you're not, uh, you can be. So hit the join button and you get exclusive video content at least once a month and, uh, and updates in the community tab as well. So memberships, is now available, which is awesome. And it helps me out because as you know, my entire career is based on the travel industry and tourism, and uh, tourism has just been crippled across the world, uh, including my income for the next six months to a year, which sucks, sucks, but we'll make it through. Thou shall survive, you know, we're gonna make it, which is, uh, which is good. I have that hope and that optimism, so. Yes, I will stop rambling off. I hope you've liked the video as always. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one from right here in rural North Germany.